Nicole, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do one more unboxing, and I think this is gonna be the last one I unbox for a while. I um, ordered a couple of orchids from Sunset Valley Orchids, and um, they had a sale, a really nice sale, on some catacetums and catlias, and I've wanted a couple for a while, and since they had a sale, I sort of, uh, and since it was a good one, I had to purchase a couple more orchids. You guys know how it goes. Um, so I'm going to be unboxing what I've got and show you some of the new additions. So I've taken everything out of the box and I'm going to show you everything individually. I'll put pictures up so you can see the flowers. We'll start with two that I'm actually splitting with a friend. We placed the order together so that we can save on shipping. And this one is the number 7488, the Potnera What About Love Brilliance. Brilliant gold crossed with the Potnera Pure Love Be Mine. And this one's very pretty. This one actually has a sheath right there, so that's exciting. It's nice and healthy. Very beautiful. So that's the first one. Up next, we've got another one that's going to uh, my friend Natalie. Hi, Natalie. This is the number 7542. This one is called the Potnera Martha's Sunburst, I believe. I'll put the names up for you as well so you could see it. This is much larger, this orchid. And check out that sheath right over here. So Natalie, you're going to have some nice blooms, girl. You're going to have some really good ones. This is beautiful. This is nice and healthy. That's number two. Up next is this beauty. And this one, I put in my um, American Orchid Society ID, and instead of giving a discount, they gave an AOS orchid. So this one is called the Potanera Spring Prominence. And check out those buds. Please do not blast on me. This is gorgeous. Looking forward to seeing it. Okay, this next one is the Potanera Martha Clark crossed with the Lelio Catlia Tropical Aurora. And this one is a taller orchid it looks like it got damaged a little bit during shipping, but that's okay. It's got quite a lot of bulbs. This is a mature orchid. Got so many, um, so many canes, and these were fourteen dollars. Like that's, I, I find it to be a good deal, just compared to what we can buy here in New York City. Just going to the orchid nurseries nearby. They're not, there's not very many. And Catlias, I've seen them here go for like $50, $75. They could be very pricey. So this one is gorgeous. And this is one of the ones that I originally ordered. This here is the gift orchid that they sent. This one is the number 7460, the Brassolelio Catlia Pico T Flight, crossed with the Love Blush Love something. I'll put the name up for you guys. This one is very pretty. For a gift, I will take it. Nice and healthy. Good bulbs. Up next is this beauty that I ordered. I love the flowers on this one. But this one is called the Catlia Claysiana. This one is very beautiful. I'll put up the picture so you can see it. Hopefully this one will bloom for me in the, um, in the spring. This is the Catlia Claysiana. Up next we've got the BLC Izumi Charm crossed with the What About Love Brilliant Gold. And this is embarrassing, but I accidentally ordered two of the same orchids and I just told them to give me something similar. So this is the alternate that they gave me um, since I ordered Two of the same orchids so i told them to surprise me looks good these are nice nice tall canes very nice okay this one over here is the hybrid of the potnera golden circle 
OPRL crossed with the Leliocatlia Tokyo Magic. I remember I really like the flowers on this one as well. Very pretty. It's got five canes on it. Not in bud or uh, sheath yet, but that was a pleasant surprise from some of the others. Beautiful. Alrighty, we'll move on to the catacetums. So this one is nice and small. Looks like it's already dormant, so I won't be giving this water. This is the Cloesia Jumbo York, which is the Cloesia Rebecca Northern grapefruit crossed with the Catacetum Orchid Glade. Jamie's Tortured Midnight. Nice and small. Check out my hand. I love small catacetums like this. Looks like we have a spike here, so that's exciting. Let's see if I can brighten it up for you so you can see it. But it's right in here. Yay, I, I look forward to seeing this one bloom. Cloesia Jumbo York. Moving on to the next orchid, the next catacetum orchid that I'm really, really excited about. This one is the Cycnotes uh, Brown's Choice. So this is a cross between Cycnotes Richard Brandon, crossed with the Cycnotes Swan Cascade Best Select. I'm gonna put a picture up so you can see it. This is gorgeous. I saw pictures of it on the most recent AOS magazine. It is very, very beautiful. It's supposed to have some brownish speckled or br uh, bronze speckled flowers, which I will put here on the side so you could see them. But I am so excited about this. It looks like it's heading into dormancy as it's lost two or th three leaves already. So may not be giving this water, but we'll see. But I'm really excited to grow this one. This is going to be a beauty. Next up is another catacetum that they sent through. This one is the Catacetum Dentigrianum crossed with the Catacetum Mem Memoria Raul Mortera Pineda. Also looks like it's heading into dormancy very soon, just like my other Catacetum orchids. Up last, they also sent through this Cygnotes orchid. This one is called the Cygnotes Richard Brandon SVO, crossed with the Cygnotes Marin Gleason SVO. And I did notice it was broken on shipment, so you could see it's um, it was broken there, so that's a bummer, but it looks like it may have bloomed before. It has a um, old spike there. Um, if you've ever worked with catacetums like this that have broken, do you just chop it off and top it off with cinnamon? I'm assuming that's fine, um, but let's see. I may just, yeah, it's hanging on by a thread. So I may just chop it off, but I won't be giving it water. Looks like it's got one leaf. It's a Cycnotes, and these do not like water. Um, and I've heard that they're more susceptible to rot if you water them. So no water for this one. I'm very pleased with this order. It was really nice. Um, some of those orchids are in bud, and um, some of them are in sheath. Two of those orchids are going to go to my friend Natalie. Uh, we ordered those orchids so that we can save on shipping. So we ordered together. So she has some nice ones headed her way with sheets and they'll be blooming very soon. Um, I'm very happy with the haul. I feel like everything was very high quality. Um, they put a heat pack in the box, which was fantastic. Um, it's been a little cold, but Thankfully, unlike my last haul that was stuck in shipment for 12 days, this arrived just on time. It was in transit very little, and it was in the East Coast for less than 24 hours till they made the delivery. In all, I highly recommend Sunset Valley Orchids. They have very high quality uh, cat catacetums as well as catlias. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more orchid updates. I'll follow along as some of those catacetums bloom. There was one in spikes, I'm really excited about it. And I think that's it for me for, for now, for 2021 on orchid hauls. I now am pretty topped out. 
Um, I have updated my grow shelves, so you guys will see that very soon where I've expanded and I'm using all of my vertical space. So I literally have an orchid wall in, in a, um, where I'm growing my orchids right now. So stay tuned for an update very soon. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna accommodate my catlias and make sure that they're getting adequate light. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.